In this activity, we're going to learn about sequences. And sequences are a special kind of function that have a domain that are, is sequential. So the domain is a series of numbers in some order. So like one, two, three, four. They're consecutive, right? They're one after another. So one, two, three, four, there's no gaps in the domain. And then the values are referred to, let's say that this sequence is called Q, right? So you can give it whatever name you want. But let's say that this one is Q, then we use these uh, the domain as an index. So Q of one, and the way that these are done is with a subscript. So Q of one uh, maybe is equal to a certain value, right? So that is the term. So let's say that Q of one is equal to seven, and I no longer need a subscript. Okay, so Q of one is seven, and um, Q of two, right? We can say Q of two, which would be the next term uh, is 12. And, and we can keep building here. And there's one term for each value in the domain. So Q of three uh, is equal to 15 and Q of four. Now this is for this specific sequence, right? There's no, not all sequences will have these same values, but this particular sequence, uh, Q of one is seven, Q of two is 12, Q of three is 15, and Q of four is 18. So this is the domain. And when we put them with the name of the sequence and a subscript, that indicates the index, all right? We refer to this as the index. So Q of one is seven, and then seven is the term. So here we're learning lots of terminology, right? So the term, the index, uh, the domain. So these are all the values that, that we're going to be using, or these are some of the terms that, that we're going to be using. So we might write this sequence just with the values um, if the domain isn't significant, we can just say, here's the sequence. And this is the sequence, right? The sequence is 7, 12, 15, 18. And, uh, and the index into it are Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4. Then we can, um, we have an initial index. So this is interesting. So we know when we're working with ind um, indices in an array, they always start at zero. Uh, but when we're working with sequences, the index or the domain can start with any integer. So one and zero are really common, but we might have a domain that actually begins with negative two or a domain that begins with 12. Whatever it begins with, then it's consecutive numbers from that point on. So if the, if the domain begins, so let's do a different domain. So if the do, another domain would be one that starts at zero, then it would go one, two, three, four. So there's a domain of five values. So notice this sequence would have five values in it. If we had another domain uh, that was actually started with negative three, then it would go consecutive. So it'd be negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, three. So this particular domain, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that would have seven values in that sequence. So here what you're seeing is the domains can be different. They can start at different values, uh, but they're consecutive. So one number after another. So those are the domains and there's lots of possibilities for domains. In fact, you can have a domain that is, um, is infinite, right? So this one would be an infinite domain. It just keeps going. So this one tells us where it starts. That's the initial index and then consecutive numbers and goes on forever. So it's infinite. So that's what the domain looks like. 
and it can vary from one to another. The, what a sequence looks like is the terms. So these are the terms that are part of the sequence. And we can refer to the terms. Here we've been referring to Q4 is how we refer to a, a term. And in fact, we can, in a generic way, refer to the term by using um, G and then using a variable. So you might use N or you might use K, and that refers to a generic term. And you can use that uh, in a meaningful way. Now, if you want to refer to the sequence in a ger generic way, so let's say we wanted to say, what is the sequence Q of K? You actually put it in curly braces. Okay, so here's a reference to the term. Here's a reference to the entire sequence. 